Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So you can always be putting your energy into something where your energy should be is in the end result. How do you know where your energy is? It's where you're focused. You know, it's where we're focused, where we're focused, where we stay focused. Our focus is the most important thing. We must stay in the focus and energy of the end result. And you'll know whenever you're outside of that focus because you're simply focused in other places. You're not focused on the end result. So you must, you must stay there. It's so crucial. So, so a thing that I, that I say a lot is you must be it uh, to see it. Yeah, you must be it to see it. I'm sure many of you have heard this. You must be it. So what is the it? What is the it? What is that? It's such an interesting question, isn't it? What do you mean be it, Chris? Do you mean be the thing that I want to create? Because I'm not money. I can't be it. But what is the it? Well, you know, it's easy to describe what it isn't. What it isn't is it's not limited. Okay, the it, being it, when you, when you get back to what you truly are, your creative source, your creative essence, you are the universe witnessing itself. And you are a creative energy and you've simply created a limited perspective. And this limited perspective, okay, a limited viewpoint, a limited perspective, this limited perspective, we gave a name and it's enjoying having an experience of itself. And as it's having an experience of itself, inside what uh, inside this this universe the the one song universe the one song inside of that there's others also having their same limited viewpoint or perspective and we get you know all sorts of consciousnesses being able to go but that that's what that's what we've got to understand we are at all and we have collapsed ourselves down into one perspective to have a journey to have fun and there's nothing wrong with any creation. From the super conscious perspective, which is an aspect of the whole perspective, from this whole perspective, there's, no, there's never anything wrong. There's no shoulds. There's no I should be or I should have, or, or this is the this is good. This is this, there's none of that. Because everything's just going through a process of experience. And this experience is just an experience. And that's what's so fun to acknowledge. So a diagram that many of you have seen lot, lots of times is this one. We have a current reality and a desired reality. Now, the key is when you be it, you're both of them. When your ID, your identity, realizes that it's both of that. Your identity can be this reality. It can be this reality. You see, there's nothing wrong. So the current reality here might be, you know, not enough. And this might be enough. Your humanness says that this is better than this. Your identity doesn't know better. It just knows it's different. You see, there'll be another random reality over here another random reality over here, and you can be in any of these, any of them. But most of us, we have a setup, right? We say, this is where I am, and I'm going to try to get there. I'm going to try to get there. And what we try to do is we try to stay limited and use the limited perspective and then become a different perspective. And this is the, one of the biggest mistruths. We start out here in this current reality and we have this identity and we try to move to this desired reality and stay with and, and have a new identity. 
So let's say this identity is scarce and this identity is abundant. We try to take this one and we try to fix it or transmute or change it into this one. Say it again. We take one identity and we try to change it into another identity. What, who's done this, by the way? I don't have enough money. I'm going to change myself to become something else. I'm, I'm not healthy, and I'm going to try to change this and move to this. I'm going to try to move this. I'm going to stay here and try to move it. And okay. all of us, hey, we all got told we got to, you know, we got to try to change ourselves and become something. But here's the problem. When you are, you are a limited perspective and you try to change it, can you see the, the density of that, how hard that is? When you, when you, when you have something and you, you, you're wanting to get rid of it, So, so let me, let's just, uh, let's just play a fun game. Let's play a fun game. Uh, I, I want you just to think of something that you, you resist, that you don't want to happen. It, it, everyone can do that. Hey, so here's something that I don't want to happen. I would, I would really, I would not prefer to be broke. Like I wouldn't prefer that. Like I, 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 I prefer to have money. So can everyone, can everyone just think of something? Okay. Uh, that they would, they would, prefer they didn't have that like that they would resist and, and i know if you've done lots of it you go chris well i'm not going to do that it's just for an exercise okay it's not it's not how we would create okay and i just want you just can everyone do that i, I don't think uh, you resist it you don't want that you don't want to be that you don't want to have that you don't want it okay so just, just it's just a fun game this isn't part of creating it's just going to help you get some awareness okay it's just going to help you get some awareness you, you're going to get going to get a lot out of it okay so everyone's got it Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and actively resist it. I don't want that. I don't want to have that. I don't want to be that. I don't want it. And then just notice how it is. Notice where you go. Notice what you're going to do when you resist it. Notice what happens to it. I don't want that. I'm not going to be that. I'll never be that. Notice you'll never be that and you create something else. And then as you create something, so you create the complete opposite, but notice how it feels. Okay, open your eyes and come back. Come back. So when you resisted it, what, what happened to it? When you resisted it, what happened to it? Panic, a battle, small, pressured. It got worse, got bigger, it got stronger, it got heavy, it grew. It got bigger, everyone's saying, it grew. It got stronger, it got stronger. Everyone here says it got stronger. Did it go away? If you imagine sol solving it, did it really go away? It didn't, did it? It's, it sat there as a fear you never want to happen. Look at all this. No, 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 no. Please make sure you're typing into me and everyone else so we can see everyone's answers because it's very important. Do you see how it didn't go away, hey? You see how it didn't go away? You see this, you, you, you went for it, but it's still, it's still there as a worry, wasn't it? Now let's do the same, same exercise, but different instructions, different instructions. So this time, close your eyes, close your eyes and now accept it as a possibility. Just accept it as a possibility. Accept it as a possibility. 
accept it. It's possible. It's possible. Accept it as one of an infinite amount of possibilities. As you accept its possibility, accept every other possibility. Once you accept it as a possibility, accept all the other possibilities as well. Accept it as a possibility and then accept all the other possibilities. Breathe them in. Accept it, deeply accept it as a possibility. Acknowledge it as a possibility. And then acknowledge all the other possibilities. Now choose the possibility you would prefer. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> it makes me laugh when I do it. What happened when you accepted it as a possibility? <laughs> What happened? Did it? Did anyone else feel it just come into you, like it lost its power? Hey, did who, who just felt it just sort of come back? Did I did? I feel it come back. Who felt it come back in? So, oh, it's possible. And then, because here's the thing, guys. As much as you reject that as a possibility, is as much as you reject every possibility well i just got knocked over with the brain brain explosion as much as you reject one possibility is as much as you reject all the possibilities because anytime you're rejecting it you're, you're saying i'm not powerful you're scared of it i'm scared of it oh i, I could never be broke because i'm so i'm so Rap at making money. Oh, I'm so powerless. If I was to get, see what I'm saying? If I was to be broke, I would never make it back. You see, you see what's happening? You see? So to the extent that you reject it is the extent that you reject your power. Powerful people don't have to reject or resist things. They fucking just choose what they want. They don't waste their energy avoiding little circumstances of the human experience. They're too busy creating. Oh, well, they're, they're not wasting some of their brain power, their energy, their life, their focus, their life force, their prana, their energy, their mana. They're not wasting it there. Worried about this little thing, thinking they would never come back. I say, oh, that's possible. It's possible I could completely screw this up. And I'm going to choose this. It's possible. I accept that as a possibility that I could end in divorce, broke. I, I accept that, but I'm powerful. What you resist owns you. It shackles your power. You're scared of it. You're weak to it. It's bigger than you. You're a victim to it. I could never let that happen. What are you really saying? What's the truth behind it? You're saying I'm not powerful enough to create that thing's bigger than me. What you resist owns you. What you resist shackles your power, takes your power away. Acknowledge it. Accept it as a possibility. Accept it. When you accept it as a possibility 
And then you get to accept all the other possibilities. You see? When you accept it as a possibility, you then are able to accept all the other possibilities. Does this make sense? Not really. Is it true? If you are rejecting one possibility and scared of it, you're rejecting all possibilities. Okay, so accept it. Once you accept it, once you're here, you say, oh, it's, it's okay, I, I would be okay. Then, then you simply get to choose from a place of power, not from a place of better. You just say, I'll have this one, thank you. Like looking at a menu. By looking at a menu, oh, I'll have, I'll have that. You see, oh, that please. Feel the feeling when you choose from a menu. You've got, you've got all the money to spend. Have whatever you want. You look at this big menu. You go, oh, I'll just have that, thanks. That's life. That's how it should be. I'll have that. Oh, that wasn't a good dish. I'll just get another one. You know, oh, I didn't like that at all. I'll uh, wait. Please, I'll just have something else. I don't want that at all. I have something. So, so we, we, we come into life and we create a fixed version of what we have. We fix it. We say, this is it. And this is the self, uh, self-conscious um, situation and it's fixed. Okay, self-conscious is fixed. It says, this is, this is who you are. This is how it is. Now, we actually want another fixed reality we actually we actually enjoy being limited or fixed you see so when you're consciously creating the ego is not the enemy self-conscious is not the enemy self-conscious allows you to experience anything but there's so many different fixed points there's this point and this point and this point and this point. This, so what we do, if we're in this fixed reality, in this current reality, and we would like to create this fixed desired reality, we first must go up into all possibility. Once we go up into all possibility, then we choose. So we're fixed in our limited perspective. We come up and out to the superconscious, And then we come back down and we say, this is what I want to create. Masculine, feminine, masculine, masculine. We go up and out. We remove all resistance to it. Boom. We come back into the world and we move it into thoughts, into things. We move back in. A conscious creator doesn't just create it in the field. The conscious creator creates it in the fields, becomes it, then steps back into the limited perspective and has fun experiencing it, bringing it into the world, birthing it, you see. Having the masculine, bringing it through from the feminine womb, the unconscious, the superconscious, the womb of all creation and then bringing it out into the world. And, and, and that's the, that's the key. That's the key. See, so the, uh, today I wanted to talk about a lot actually, but the, the three big obstacles, okay. That I see. Hey, by the way, how's everyone going with today's stuff? It's good. Have you, you if you've uh, come into a first session, guys, I had a week off, so I am ready to go. The, the first big mistake, please type it in, is that people are in a, a, a powerless structure uh, with what they want. They're in a powerless structure with what they don't want. they powerless. They say, this thing will complete me. And if that thing goes, 
I'm screwed. You see that? They say, if I was successful, if I had this, but if I lost that relationship, if I lost that body, if I lost that health, they're powerless to something outside of them. They've given their power away and under the pretense of positivity or in the pretense of, I don't want to lose, but they're powerless. Okay. The next thing is they're not going for what they love. They're not going for what they love. They're lying to themselves. They're lying to themselves. They are literally lying to themselves. They say, I want this. They don't. They don't want that. There's something they really want, but they're not willing to go for it. I was coaching someone. Uh, it was a guy. Uh, it was actually one of my team members. He might be on the, on the call. And uh, it, was his, it was his birthday. And, and so I said, oh, hey, for your birthday, how about I give you a coaching session? He said, oh, that'd be really cool. So we, we did his choices. And, uh, you know, one of his choices was to to write a, uh, a, a screenplay, like a, a movie, like a full, to, to, he, wanted, he wants to write a movie. Um, but it wasn't on his choices. Instead, on his choices was all these other things that, uh, you know, that, that he thought, you know, I, I, I want to make this sort of money and I want to, uh, you know, I've got to get a YouTube channel and I want to write a this and I want to hit all these other things. Instead of, you know, he, this is what he wants. So he's doing all this. This is what he wants. And, and, and so I put it there. It was, it was very much like, oh, you know, I can't put that. I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I've got to get this sorted. I've got to get that sorted. I need this. I need that. I need all these sort of things, you know. It's like, it's all there. Uh, Jenny's put in a, a question. Um, please go through the uh, introductory session. There's a, there's beautiful trainings on finding it. Yeah. And uh, and once we once we found that it was it's so big. Most people aren't going for their heart, you know. They're not going for their heart. They are uh, they're going for all these other things. And I, I want you to go for your heart. I want you to go for your heart. I want you to go for what's what's really here. But that's because that's where the real the real fear can come in. It's like well that. And it's very strange. And the things we love the most is the most scariest to us. But I, I would love you to go for your heart. All successful creators, they went, they go for their heart. They're not, they're not off trying to create things they don't care about. They, they're going for their heart. And finding your heart and bringing it into the world, finding your love and bringing it into the world is, uh, is uh, I can't think of anything better to do. You know, truly liberated, living, living from what you what you really love, you know, what you really love. And, and so the last the last thing is uh, so, you know, the first one is that they're in a powerless structure. The second is that they're not going for what they love. They're not in a true choice. And, and the last thing is they've forgotten who they are. They, they've forgotten. Uh, they've forgotten who they are. You know, uh, Janine says, is your heart, uh, I don't think it's love. I think it's what, what you love, what you love. You're going for what you love and, you know, love meaning, you know, just, just what, what is the highest expression of you, what you love teaching, teaching my heart teaching. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Born to teach, guys. Born to teach. What is your heart? Finding your finding your heart. And so the the three big mistakes is is one people are in a, a powerless structure. Number number two is they're not they're not going for their their heart. And number three is they've forgotten who they are. That's such, Jesse, I love you. I want to start by saying I love you, but that's a lie. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a, it's a useful lie. It feels true. I'd love to go for what I love, but I, but I don't, can't afford it. Yeah. And I, but I know you probably say, no, Chris, I've got many, you know, go for what you love. In going for what you love, 
you will find a way to afford it. But if you go for trying to afford it, you're over here. Go for what you love. Take the obvious action towards going for what you love. Does that make sense? I hope the coaching landed. I know it's like your first, your first call, I think. <laughs> but no, it's, it's just not true, hey? It's not true. Go, go for what you love and you will find a way to afford it. Go for trying to afford it and you're saying that I'm not powerful enough to create what I love. So they've forgotten that they're super conscious. They've forgotten that you're super conscious. So let's do a recode, hey? Let's do a recode. Let's do a recode. All right. So for those of you who haven't done live recode before, uh, it's five steps to create what you love. Step number one is always the same. Choose the end result of what you'd love to create. Uh, choose, choose an end result that you would love. So you, you should already have choices. So it should be as simple as, I've got my choices, they're sitting over there. And you, you should be able to just go grab them and go, I'm gonna work on this choice today. If you don't have a choice uh, ready, Okay, you, you can start with one of the core four. Okay, the second and third step uh, uh, can go in either either way that you want. The way that I like to do it, I like to first step into the energy or emotion of the end result. Okay, so the way we're going to do it today is number two, we'll step into the energy or emotion of the end result. Step number three is we notice where we are now. Okay, so so I explained it quite well on Tuesday. You step into the end result of what it is that you want. And then you go back to the now and the now is like the, uh, uh, it's like a shooting star. It's like the tail of a comet. And you go back, well, where am I here? That's that shooting. This is the thing that's moving, but where am I now? Hey, Tracy, good to see you. Okay, so we go back to the now, that's number three. When we come back to the now, we create the structure. We say, I wanna be here, but I'm here. We create the structure, structure. As soon as we say, this is what I want, but I'm here, we're going to notice all the stories, the reasons, the excuses, the emotions, the beliefs, everything that's in the way. And it will bubble up to the surface. Like imagine what you want is at the end of a river, like the river of desire. The desire is at the river and it kind of like bubbles up like boulders just turn up. You know, they're just in the way like a dam and you, you simply just can't move. Just as soon as you, oh, there's this belief in the, and that they're in the way. But your super conscious created it all because it knows in order to stop you flowing, it just needs to put a dam in the way and you won't go there if that's a, a thing that's against uh, the identity that you've originally created, your first fixed position. But once we return up to the super conscious and we notice all these boulders in the way and the order that they popped out, we simply just give commands and we say, super conscious, we actually want to be this fixed position now. So we need to flow to that. So please, can you treat all these boulders? And what you'll notice is they'll just roll away or move out of your awareness and, and it will go down and you'll just be able to flow and you'll just flow right, right towards it. And you'll just have it. You'll just have it. You know, the boulders just might not all, the, the whole boulder might not go, you know, maybe, Maybe today we just need to take a chisel and just sort of chisel out a little bit of it because you know it's quite big, or, or or sometimes they just vanish like a if you know like in a Dracula movie, <laughs> Dracula's creeping around in the dark, sucking the life out of you, and, and then all of a sudden you open the the curtains and the light gets it, and it's like ah boom, the light the light re removes it, removes it. So sometimes it's like that, and, and and others you just go and you go you know what it's just these things and I, I can just have it so. So whatever's ever's true for you, we're gonna we're gonna do a recode, and uh, um, the what, once we recode, we we bring the resistance down, so you're able to flow. the The fifth step, the last step, is is always action, because once you are in this fixed position, you come up out to possibility. You change the instructions. You need to come down into a new fixed position. Yes, everybody, you must come down into a new fixed position. 
You must now, you must now be this. See, you choose, I'm going to be this. And this has, this has different, different actions. You see? And then this is going to, this is going to be new. And I'm going to be this now. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to be, I'm going to do this person now. 